There's a price to pay for your dreams. This weight was eight. With kindness yeah. and compassion One day when for the I one. found out I was eight times. How many times should we eat be that? The one so there's no whom you now love you're and gave yourself. Hi, I'm Nicole. Life recycling, life compensation. How do we recycle relationships? How do we recycle things? How do we recycle what is important? And when life compensates to us for what we went through, are we able to see that? Are we able to appreciate that? So this is my concern and our today's uh, topic. Welcome, welcome. You are very welcome. I'm Nicole, as usual, very excited to share with you on this important uh, topic. So today, I will introduce to you two important concepts that I'll try my best, as usual, to explain them in details uh, for you to understand. So today's concept, we have life compensation and life recycling. Life compensation is simply um, things, let's say, things that life gives us for what we went through. Life often trying to compensate for what we go through, for the challenges we face, for the hardship, for the hard time, for the tough seasons of our life. But often we do not actually acknowledge uh, things or people that come in our life as compensation from life for what we went through so here we're gonna go into detail so you may become able to actually see that uh, that particular person that came in your life was actually a compensation from life that particular pregnancy that came in your life was not a chance or a mistake at all it was actually a way life trying to compensate for what you went through and the recycling it's basically a concept that will actually help us to not only be able to forgive but to actually take back yes as human beings, like i always say we are not perfect so many of us many human beings we have this thing of forgiving others but we don't want to uh, recycle the relationship that's why you will see there are so many um relationship that are broken because uh, we don't try to even forgive so if we cannot forgive therefore we cannot recycle we only talk about recycling in a relationship when we have forgiven we did forgive not because the person did deserve our forgiveness but we did it for us for us which means you did forgive so your burden can become a light so you can let go the load and feel free again feel fresh and light and ready for a new um, life that is full of excitement and happiness so yes um as usual we're gonna take uh, some cases <laughs> which case should we um, assess today Let's say there is a mother and a son. They've, they, they've been fighting for a while. They have been fighting because the son actually chooses some uh, rough or bad friends to hang uh, with and the mother never been happy. So they've been fighting and one fine day the son was just fed up. He just packed his stuff and took off. And since then they don't talk with his mother. It was just a mess so the son is upset at his mother because the mother did not support his decision hanging around with those friends that probably used to sell drugs or were involved into uh, early sexual activities or those um, children were just wasted you know they were into alcohol they were into substance abuse some of them were into addictions and the mother as a parent so that uh, uh, those uh, children or those friends to her son were not um, good friends therefore she decided not to support those relationships but the son being a teenager being a young man did not understand he just thought that my mother 
has zero respect <laughs> toward my choices and person. My mother doesn't love me. My mother is a bad person. It just took off. So if that son is actually watching this video and would decide, for instance, to consider life recycling, the first step the son will take will be to consider forgiving his mother for not getting on board with his decisions. Human beings are free moral agents, so we are not obligated to approve of things that we disagree. That means we're going to become fake. If you have this habit of agreeing on things that you shouldn't agree on or approving of certain things that you should not give your approval for, you will just develop this uh, habit or character of yours of being fake. A true person, if it's a no, that person is able to say no. If it's a yes, you should be able to say yes. If it's a no, it's a no. And before you say no to yes, we are always recommended to think. You need to think. People say you must think twice. <laughs> I will say you must think deep and you must take your time because once you say no, you must have valid reasons and you must make sure that your no stay no if um, that particular situation deserve a no. Yes. So yeah, the son will need to forgive his mother for um, not uh, encouraging or supporting his relationships with those bad boys and uh, also trying to um, consider recycling his relationship with his mother. The first step in your recycling process will be communication. You have to communicate. You have to tell her how you feel. You have to listen to her side of the story. As a parent, you know, she probably had her son's best interest in her heart. No parent will ever, if it, your parent loves you, will never allow you to hang around with bad counts, you know, guys or boys or girls who are involved into early um, sexual uh, activity, who guys who are involved into substance abuse, uh, probably smoking or um, drinking alcohol at such a very uh, young age, and they don't want to go to school, they don't want to make themselves useful for their family or parents, they just want to party, uh, do clubbing, party, clubbing, smoking, alcohol, sex, um, being lazy and fun. So no parents will want such friends around their child or their children if they love their child or children and care for them. So yes, the son will need to forgive his mother, engage in conversation, tell her how you feel, how you um, wish to be treated and trying your best to recycle the relationship which simply means to take her back, to restore her, you know, restore her place in your heart. That's the hardest part when it comes to recycling a relationship. So there's this thing about us human beings, which really brings me or gives me so much pain, is that you can do so much good to someone or to people or to the world for, um, let's say in a year we have, 365 days you do so much good for 364 days okay and there's that uh, one day <laughs> that you just made a mistake and then you will see this the good that you did for 664 days has been cancelled just for that one mistake just for that one bad thing that you probably said you know I will be shooting 1,000 videos um, <laughs> for you and upload them so they can help you out. You will be happy. And then I make one video where I probably call you, let's say, crazy. And then that one video of me calling you crazy is just cancel all the good videos that I spent time you know, um, working on the content and shooting, editing, uploading, blah, 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 blah. So this is the problem with us human beings. Evil have this tendency of uh, canceling, you know, the good that we may be doing for such a long time. One single mistake, one single bad action, one single um, 
bad word can actually cancel all the good, has the power to cancel all the good that you've been doing perhaps for years or for days or for weeks or for things like that. So yes, that mother was in his son's life probably for 15 years, 20, 25 years. He gave, she, sorry, gave her best to his son, sent her to school, fed him, show him how to walk, how to talk, sacrifice herself. She got probably um, pregnant when she wasn't prepared, but she made a sacrifice not to have an abortion, but to actually give birth. She uh, breastfeed the child. She used to wake up every night when the baby's crying. When he's sick, she was just there parenting and, and parenting and loving and giving and giving and giving. But then one simple disagreement on the friends, on the son's uh, friends uh, type has just destroyed the relationship. I think in that case, that's the punishment, you know, that the son is giving to the mother is not... Um, or does not fit the crime at all. I think the punishment is quite harsh if I have to assess that case and I will recommend to the son to actually recycle his relationship. The first step, you need to forgive her in your heart. You're doing it for yourself, not for her. You're doing it so you can feel lighter. When we hold the grudges, when we hold anger and frustration against people, we are kind of, it's kind of a... It's like a heavy load, you know, that we're keeping in our mind or in our heart and, and, and so forth. And when we forgive them, it's like we let it go. Our mind or our heart just become lighter. We become more free. We become more happy, more smiling, <laughs> more joyful. And yes, just we feel much better. So the son will need to do that to his mother for himself, for his burden to become light for him to give a, himself a fresh life once he after he, 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 he has engaged a conversation with her he can perhaps uh, decide to restore her it's very important that we restore people we love mm? sometimes we actually even need to restore people that we don't love we, we probably just like or just don't want to arm so i think the son will have or will need to definitely re restore his mother there are so many people who are dead in people's heart this is not today's video uh, this is not the topic of this video but let's just brush quickly yes when we hate we actually kill the person and our hands are like full of blood yes so there are many people who hate so many others and this is how we got to kill them in our heart this is how our hands are full of blood so that is it when you forgive you engage a conversation because you're trying to recycle the relationship you will definitely have to restore so just look within yourself as you are watching this video or even after watching it ask yourself how many people do you hate it means how many people have you killed how many type blood type do you have between your hands so many few one or two so if it's few it's actually good because you can just open your heart and let those people go not because they deserve that but because you need to make your burden light you need to feel lighter you know open your heart for new possibility for a new life that might be that should be exciting so yes if you can please try to recycle you can recycle a mother like i said you can recycle your father there are so many girls who have been abused by their own fathers there are so many children who have been abused by their own parents they hate them they've killed them they murdered their own parents in their own heart their hands are full of blood today i want you to think about recycling the first step first will be you forgiving the person that deserves to be recycled by you in your heart forgive engage the conversation if you can't involve a counselor or a therapist and then restore the person then restore the relationship so yes you can recycle your father he, he did hurt you he did abuse of you he was violent he used to call you names or he's still doing it he just treated you like you know you don't matter 
There are also fathers who deny their own children. When your mom was pregnant of you, your father said, oh, that's not my baby. He kind of ran away. Since then, he never, never paid child support. He never trying to support you. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even want to be involved in your life. Whether you succeed or not, it doesn't matter for him. It doesn't at all. So you are hurt because that's, that's normal, you know? How can you not be hurt if your father rejects you, if your mother rejects you, if your family, those who are supposed to show you love, protection, assistance, support, and care, just turn their back on you? How can you not be hurt? How can you not be upset? How can you not be disappointed? Of course you are. And then I'm going to let you have it. I have no problem on letting you have it. You can have it. You can be upset. You can be frustrated. You have all the rights to be. But as you are watching this video, I want you to understand that you are doing this for yourself first. It's not that they deserve to be recycled for what they did to you. They just threw you in the street when you have no money, no job, you had no support, you had nothing. Your father just denied you like that. When you had nobody to support you, you had no father, no stepfather, nobody. You've been on your own, on your own and life hasn't been easy at all. You have all the right to be upset, but if you can recycle your relationship with your father, with your parents, with your mom, as you are watching me, I will advise you to do that. Because if any of those people passes away or dies, you may want to regret, you may want to wish you have had at least a minute to talk to them, to try to fix things. So yes, there are so many children who run away from home because they home they did enforce some ins rules on how they should dress how they should walk how they should live so if you are one of these people you may try to recycle your relationship with your family there are so many people because they got involved in some sort of relationship you fell in love with that woman you fell in love with that man and your family did, did disagree of your relationship you got mad you back you left you thought that you did the right decision you still think that it was the right decision but i'm calling you to recycle that relationship you need them it's not um random you know it's it's not random that we are born in the family where we are born it's not random that we were uh, born with together with the people that we are born with and we we, we don't randomly have them as our siblings, our brothers and sisters. Everything was planned. And we do have the sisters that we have for a reason. We have brothers that we have for a reason. We have parents that we have for a reason. We have family that <laughs> we don't only have, but we belong to for a reason. So do not deny uh, that reason any longer. Do not think like life made a mistake to have placed you in a family where you were born life knew exactly what it was doing everything is calculated everything was planned everything was known and everything was approved so today you and i have the responsibility to make the best out of it it happened we are already part of that family whether we want it or not because we're already born in that family we have them as our siblings whether we like it or not we have uh, them we have their blood in our veins you know i have for instance uh, african blood in my vein whether i like it or not it's there it's gonna stay there until my last day on earth so the only thing i can do now is to deal with the african blood that is actually flowing in my veins is to deal with whatever package life as has given me who has thrown <laughs> in my face so yes um if you can you should always recycle there are so many people who are dead in the relationship you think you guys are still married or you guys are just staying together for the sake of children but in your heart you have killed each other you fight too much you argue too much you don't want to humble yourself he doesn't want to humble himself. She doesn't want to humble herself. She thinks she's right. 
and she thinks she's right all the time you also with that ego you know inside of you that pride inside of you you also think because you are the man you are the head of the family you are right and you are right all the time nobody want to humble themselves you have destroyed your relationship you don't want to go for counseling you don't want to speak to a therapist you don't want to talk to someone who can advise you because you are full of yourself you say oh no i don't want my business to be uh, talked about or shared with a therapist or a counselor you are constantly destroying your own relationship you are not helping your case at all you know and i am inviting you if you are watching this video if you are watching me speaking right now to try to recycle your relationship with your partner there are so many couples actually they are not even divorced like legally they're still married but they just choose to separate you know they split up each person goes onto their own side and um they whether communicate or not but they just they you know they choose to separate so they don't want to recycle their relationship they don't want to uh, forgive they don't want to engage a conversation or get a therapist involved and then um, um, actually restore the person in their heart, restore the love that they, they, they once had for that person, restore the trust, restore the care, restore the, um, the support, the assistance you know, that they used to give to that person. They don't want to restore anything. They don't want to give anything. They don't want to fight for anything. They don't want to try anything because they're just like, oh, you know what? I'm done. No, you're not done. Uh-uh. You are not done at all. We have work to do. That's why we are sitting in front of the cameras to talk about these things because there's work to do. You are not done. We are not done. We have work to do. <laughs> so get up. Take a piece of paper. Take a pen. Write down everyone that you need to recycle in your heart that you need to forgive engage a conversation and restore so draw a list whether they are family members whether they are um, partners in your business in your firm at your work whether they are your uh, children your loved one whether they are your i, I was gonna say <laughs> Your love partners. No, you're only supposed to have one. <laughs> Whether it's your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Whether it is your lover. You have to draw a list of people that need to be recycled. It's very important. Okay. So besides that, and one thing you need to know before I move to uh, the second concept it's like before you decide to recycle a personal relationship you must do your best to be able to tell me to be able to tell to yourself that 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 particular relationship is worth being recycled is it safe to proceed so for you to know if you should recycle that relationship with that friend of yours who slept with your husband or who took over your marriage and your kids that friend of yours who framed you for a crime that you did not do today you end up having um, a criminal record for something you didn't even do that friend of yours who lied that friend of yours who cheated on you who betrayed you who gossip about you before you decide to recycle any uh, such relationship you have to assess assess the situation find out is it worth saving is it worth letting go do not tell me oh nicole i have this boyfriend that i had before he used to beat me up he used to call me names he used to treat me like an animal and now i'm watching your videos i think i should try to recycle it don't 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 do that don't do that don't don't just waste um your time your precious time energy into things like that you don't recycle an abusive boyfriend whether it's verbal physical emotional mental and all of that why will you even risk <laughs> he needs to go for therapy <laughs> he needs to go to anger management classes to address his short temper his anger behavior his anger issue he needs to go for a therapy and you need to move on okay <laughs> Don't go recycling every single ex-boyfriend that used to beat you up because today 
we talked about life recycling no don't do that don't be one of those women who are cheap i don't want you to be cheap i don't want you to have a such a low self-esteem to the point you think that you deserve to be beaten up you deserve to be treated like an animal you be you deserve to be treated like a sex object you deserve to be treated like less than a human i don't want you to be one of those cheap women if you are a subscriber to this channel we build solid women mm? not stuff cookies <laughs> like, the, like people say but we build women with character we build men with a personality. We want powerful men. We want powerful women who will stand up and inspire others, encourage others, invest in people, who will stand up just and make the community, you know, feel special, help people as much as possible. That's what we do here. That's why I'm here for, okay? So do not go recycle that ex-boyfriend of yours who used to get drunk and lose control and come home call you names even in front of kids treat you like trash though no, don't 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 do that if you really do that you must know you have disappointed me i am so sad i'm just in my bed crying crying and weeping that you are still not understanding me neither the concept that i'm trying to introduce to you so yes do not go around recycling every man who has a short temper a anger issue who is a manipulator a manipulator like to manipulate you to twist your word against you and make you feel small make you feel less than a woman or less than a man or make you feel bad about yourself so he can feel good about himself or so she can feel good about herself you know don't go around recycling toxic relationship what will a toxic relationship bring to you or oh, obviously nothing someone who is toxic will only bring <laughs> A very bad energy very bad vibe very bad spirits so don't go around recycling those people recommend therapy for them recommend um, uh, anger management classes things like that that will help them to better their personality but as for you I wish what's the best for you I wish what's the best the best the best for you so me being able to wish that for you i want you also to want that to desire it to fight for it so yes assess and tell me is is it is it worth your time is it worth recycling is it worth saving that relationship you must be able to know if you see struggling to know know that i will be there for you okay but you have to try even though we can talk to you I can talk to you but I will first ask you did you try something if you say yes Nicole I did and I want to know what you've tried did you try you did an assessment did you try to evaluate the whole thing tell me what is your outcome so if I still don't get it and then we go through the assessment but first you need to try mm -hmm. assess and check if it's safe to do so okay if it's not do not proceed if there are red flags, do not ignore. Hmm? Always consider your red flags because they are there to protect you, to warn you, to assist you. Okay? Now we can move to life compensation. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that this video is long, eh? I hope you don't mind. Okay. So, the thing is, we should consider life compensation because when we do, we actually find how much life cares about us people are like life is unfair you know people have a lot to say about life they say life is un unfair life is hard life is bad life is life is life is the only time this is just to make your life laugh sorry the only time i find life was unfair was one day when i was going to the spa and then i was looking to those beautiful horses I'm like, horses have hair. They have those natural, soft, beautiful hair. And then I'm like, oh, and then I have to buy an extension, hair extension. <laughs> I'm like, if horses can have such beautiful, soft hair, what about African women? They should have also had a long, beautiful hair. Then some of us will like extension, hair extension. <laughs> we wouldn't have to put a extension 
That's when I said, no, life is so unfair. I can hold this heavy hay. And then I... <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious and then how i cannot have such beautiful soft hair that horses <laughs> okay forget about this joke and then i was like oh life is unfair so life always trying for whatever you go through for whatever you went through life always always trying to uh, actually compensate to you life cares yes life cares life cares life cares you must uh, know that it's very important you know you must always remember that let's talk about miscarriage let's have an example as of miscarriage you miscarry your first child um, baby let's call them baby fetus eh? let's call babies so you did miscarry your first baby or your second your third you will see that somewhere there somewhere there you know after probably years uh, you miscarry today may after two or three years as you choose to consider uh, treatments and and all of that uh, fertility treatments you will fall pregnant pregnant again and bear a child and become a mother or a father for instance fathers don't fall pregnant to become a mother or a parent so yes your second pregnancy that was not miscarry you know it um, was a way of life compensating to the first pregnancy for instance that you did miscarry your fifth uh, pregnancy that was um, that reached to its a uh, full term was a way of life to actually compensate to all the miscarriages that you have had in the past life always or often trying to compensate and then i want us to become able to actually see that we we must see that with our eyes once we see that we will see that often and then we will become able to know that in our mind like whatever i'm going through today life will compensate for it tomorrow so you see that so yeah another example we can uh we can take is about cheating let's say you were involved into a relationship and your partner is cheated on you whether it was just a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife uh, and so forth so just because somebody cheated on you it doesn't mean it goes just unforgiven or, or unpunished or uh, not uh, addressed you know life always trying to address things that happen to us uh, it's um, the appropriate time, you know, it's the, the right time, let's say. So if your partner cheat on you today, it doesn't mean like the next partner or your future partner will cheat on you, not at home. That's why I disagree with women who stay in a relationship knowing that they will be cheated on. They think, these women think they don't deserve partners who can be actually faithful to them, who can love them, who can care for them, who can provide for them, who can stay actually faithful to them when they actually deserve partners who must or should or can be loyal to them. So that is it. And if your partner cheat on you today, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you guys probably broke up, know that some day in future, there will be a partner, there will be a girl, a woman coming in your life that will not cheat on you. That will be a way of life compensating, compensating to you for what you went through. Giving you a woman who is loyal, who is faithful. She can travel across the world, she can meet friends, she can have a drink, she can party, but she will never ever take her clothes off in front of another man other than you. This is how much she does respect you. This is how much she thinks about you before acting, before even doing anything with her body. So you will get that woman that will be loyal to you. You will get that man that will never, never undress himself in front of any other woman, any other girl other than you. You see, you will get that person. And when you get a, a man who is, who made a decision to be faithful to you, you will certainly no or remember <laughs> if you have already watched this video that that will be a way of life compensating for what you went through okay let's give take another um case uh you have been giving birth to um how do you call them stillbirth 
you have this stillbirth experience. So whenever you fall pregnant, um, babies babies die in your womb or your, your, your belly. And then when you go to um, deliver, probably baby only lives like for a few hours between your hands and they pass away. Who sweats um, or they just uh, come out of your womb as, as dead human beings. So you have this experience. You probably lost uh, so many babies in the past. There you have to go through so many challenges and you don't even have a baby. You don't even have you, you are not even a mother of anybody and it's so painful so even if that's your case i still think like you may experience a stillbirth um once twice three four five times it's gonna happen maybe your uh, pregnancy number six you will actually be able to um hold your baby raise that child and love that child so i think there's a hope i think you shouldn't give up and you should always keep your eyes wide open because life will compensate and if you have fertility problem you cannot conceive you cannot have kids life is trying to compensate with uh, the fact that life has given you a beautiful partner a beautiful husband you have a great relationship or you have a great marriage you have a job, you have a career, you have money, you are successful, you are a powerful man or a powerful woman, you are an influencer, you are a good person, you serve your community, society, your continent as a whole. Those are the ways, those are potential in you, those are things that you need to look at as a way of life compensating for what you're going through or compensating for what you went through in the past life does compensate a lot so we must be able to see that those compensations plans you must be able to appreciate them so because it's very important so do not just see things as no more natural do not take things and people for granted life always compensate always trying to compensate it's us human being we don't want to read we don't want to see we don't want to know and we don't want to appreciate that's why i'm inviting you in this video to be, become able to see those compensations, to become able to know them, to become able to appreciate them. I've seen so many girls growing in people's houses, those extended family where they were mistreated, they suffered and they went through rough time. Then after so many years of suffering, those girls become successful. They made it through school, they succeed, they are successful as, as we speak, they become powerful women. They, they become powerful women, really helping uh, so many people in a way that they can. So yes, life always have a way to compensate. We must be able to read. We must be able to uh, know. We must be able to appreciate that because um, life will continue always to show us care in the way that um, we can see. So we must always try our best to actually uh, see them. So yeah. Another way, uh, another easy way to understand the life compensation concept is that when you go through challenge, challenges or rough time, you know it's painful, it's very tough. What do you get at the end? You get wisdom, you get knowledge, you get experience, you become an inspiration for so many people. You can influence so many lives in a positive way. You can change many lives in a positive way. So life giving you wisdom, life giving you knowledge, life giving you insight, life giving you um, strength, life making you an inspiration and influencer for so many people, so, so many lives on earth is a way of life, is a way for life, is a way that life has chosen to pay back to actually compensate for everything that you, you are into. Wisdom, the experience, the knowledge you receive at the, end, at the end of each and every challenge is actually your compensation. It's like your pay, you know, your pay uh, check, for instance, for whatever you went through in life. So if you are going through rough time, if you are going through challenges, if you are suffering, you are struggling, you are in pain just know there will be a compensation life will compensate and it will happen at the appropriate time 
you just need to keep watching and once that happens you need to um acknowledge that and more importantly appreciate that so yes and if you have any relationship that you need to recycle i'm encouraging you to recycle you want to recycle relationship with your boss you have to you you have to do that you can recycle relationship with your boss with your colleagues at work with your business partners with your investors you can recycle relationship with your parents with your adoptive parents your foster care parents you can recycle a relationship with your biologic parents with your siblings with your friends with your neighbors with um your lectures with anybody that cross you know um, in your life so you can always recycle those good relationships that always uh, bring something good into your life whether it's peace it's joy it's uh, support it's financial support material moral support it's encouragement uh, whatever those relationship brings into you or whatever way they choose to build you up you know in the way that i can you must respect that and if you can you can try your best to bring uh, to recycle those relationships and trying to restore those people in your heart you restore them in your mind you restore them in your life you're doing it first for yourself because you deserve the freedom you deserve to feel lighter you deserve uh, a brand new life you deserve to be successful and a powerful person so you can be able to help the less fortunate the reason we become successful the reason we do become famous the, we, the reason we do become financially rich all powerful men and women it's so we can assist the less fortunate not so we can shop and show off online how much we have or show off during charity event how much we can give or show off what we have our house give us two into the closet to show off everything we possess and no that's not the reason the reason is for us to help the less fortunate it's for us to inspire others to encourage others to tell them look where i was look where i am today and i think you can do the same welcome i am so excited to welcome you into the world of success so this is the reason for us to um to remember always when we get to power what we need to do with our position of influence which is a very powerful tool to have and to always appreciate so yes we are at the end of our video i hope you enjoy it thank you for making it this far and i also hope i mean that's like uh, the more imp uh, the more important uh, thing will be to implement or to actually apply every single thing we spoke into this video and try your best to make these tips these two concepts work for you in a way that uh, uh, you in the way that you can so make it work practice 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 makes perfect so one day you will become perfect at uh, seeing life compensation apply and um, appreciating them and recycling and restoring people things and relationship yes people need to restore also things you need to restore the trust in you there are so many people who have problems with trust issue there are so many people who struggle to trust other people because there was somebody that they did trust in the past and that person betrayed them you don't need to live in the past you don't have to live in the past the past is gone okay you can try to, re to recycle that trust that is missing in your relationship recycle the self-confidence that you had before recycle the love that you had before recycle patience many people have become impatient they cannot wait any longer you have to try to recycle the patience recycle the res the respect that was in you recycle the joy you once had recycle the love you once had recycle the care recycle every single good thing that you once had but you do not have anymore because of the challenges that you went through so it's your responsibility to try to recycle those things and make them count so i will see you in my next video 
have a lovely day and I wish you success in everything you do and if you have any question or comment do not hesitate thank you so much once uh, one more time and uh, Let me be free.